Hey guys, what do we got today? Weira. Weira is in the house. We're continuing with the uh, Bay in Germany series. I had a lot of requests for this series, so I, uh, I'm i doing it. I did the bottle opener yesterday. That was funnier than hell, but the reason why that was hard hard to seal is because that was a twist-off cap. You need a, a non-twist-off cap on a bottle, and it seals a lot better. I don't have a bottle like that to show you, but I will show you in a few days because some guys are interested in that. But getting off that for a minute, today is Tuesday, and sometime this week, and it's already Tuesday, guys, so you know it's getting close. I'm not trying to tease you, but if you don't watch every video, you can miss, you can miss out. If you're a subscriber, I don't care when you subscribe, I'm always going to give back to you guys. Every other week, I'm going to give something back. But the next, next couple of giveaways will probably be some snap-on. Then, we'll, then be maybe some other stuff, but we'll, we'll mix it up. But if you're a subscriber, I don't care when you subscribe, and you comment on a video this this week coming out, this week, uh, it's not this video. And if you comment on it, leave a comment on it, you'll be eligible for that for that prize. And that is, and yes, and that is the FH80. That is 80 tooth. You know, snap-on ratchets probably make the best chrome as far as the ratchets go. They're really good-looking ratchets. You know, I've, I've never anything bad to say about them other than the price, right? Um, but they are, uh, this is the Comfort Grip. This is the orange one. The one after this will be a, will be a quarter inch, will be a quarter inch drive one. I got a bunch of quarter inch drive ones. The quarter inch one, even a quarter inch drive ones are over, over 100. This one's about 100 and a half, give or take. But if you comment on a video this week coming up, I'll tell you what video it's going to be. And you're a subscriber, you're eligible. I'm getting off of that. Weira! Weira's in the house! This is a Cyclop, guys. I did I did a review on this six or seven months ago, but it wasn't just about the Cyclop. It was I had a head to head with uh, something else. I can't remember. Maybe it was a snap on. I don't remember what. This is a 3H drive. That's the model number 804B. It is 72 tooth and is about 11 inches long. There she is spinning around the old the old uh, QVC turntable. <laughs> All right, let's turn that off. And let's take a gander. I'm going to tell you what I do and don't like about it. Uh, okay. It is a Cyclops. It is a push-button release, as you can see it there. The push-button is recessed. It's not recessed, but it sticks up very, very little. And a lot of push-button designs stick up a lot more than that, you know. And that one don't stick up much, so that's good. And because some guys don't like like the uh, the push release because it's, they say it sticks up and, and you can uh, accidentally... Uh, Push it in, release a socket. Well, that one don't stick up too bad, so that's a plus. And the reverse lever is is recessed. Pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty flush with the frame. It does not stick up hardly at all, if at all, really. Let me see if we can get it there for you. Right there, hardly ever sticks up at all. So that's a pretty good design. It it is moves pretty freely. And there it is. There's a mile number again. The Zyclop, they call this uh, Zyclop. Because of that, another, another one-eyed monster in the uh, old Greek, the Greek uh, mythology. Well, that's what they're going after there, guys. And that's the mile number again, 804B. This is a 3H drive. It is 11 inches long. This has that, uh, they call it a powder coat. My first thought, it, it was like a, 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 a satin chrome, like the, uh, the Tectin, but it really isn't, isn't like the Tectin. I got a Tectin uh, with that satin chrome finish right here. I did videos on this, guys, and it is different. I'll show you up close here. So it is a little different than the, tr the traditional satin chrome that's out there. You can probably see it right there. It's got a different color, and it's also got a different. It's got a different texture. It's more of a gray. It's it's almost like a, a pewter a pewter gray color. If you know anything about, uh, I was a printer on my life, so I know about colors, and that's like a pewter gray, and it's got that powder coat finish. It's got a good. It's got a good grip to it. it feels uh, it's very uh. It grips very well, you know. It's it's got that, it's got some texture to it, like that's hard to explain. When I first bought this, I didn't like the grips. I said, "Boy, I could never." That's a funky looking grip. Where has got the funky looking grips and other screwdrivers? And there's a reason for that. It's just the way. It's just ergonomically. I guess the Germans are Germans make good stuff, guys. You know, I mean, whether you like German tools or not, they make some good stuff. And there's a reason why they did that. And after you use it for a while, I've had it for I, I think I don't know. Eight months, maybe longer than that. I bought it last, bought it last May, May I think. So I've had it all close to a year. We'll say ten months. But uh, and I've been using it, and I got a lot of ratchets, guys. And this is this is a decent ratchet. It's got good length. 
And the 72 tooth is a sweet spot. Uh, it does got an enclosed head, and here's one of the things I don't like about it. You can't service it. You can't take it apart. That's the one thing negative I can say about that, and that'll be a and that'll be a deal breaker for some people. I would think a professional would want a serviceable ratchet when they're using it every day, because eventually it's going to need some maintenance, right? You tell me. Yeah, you could probably soak it in a ATF or something, but and it would probably get in there. This thing is smooth out of the box, though. And another thing, it's pretty heavy. It's a heavy little ratchet. Let's compare to head size. The head size is very, very small. It's not the smallest on the market, but it's one of the smallest ones. There's a Craftsman, the 180 tooth gunmetal. It's a lot smaller than that one. There's the old style 80, 84 tooth gear wrench. It's a lot smaller than that one. Even the Capri, and the Capri is a pretty small head design. It's small both ways, guys. It's a very, very low profile head. It's smaller than the Williams. It's smaller than a lot of ratchets out there. I'm just showing it, just trying to give you a, rep a reference here. The Koken, that Koken, ooh, Koken is in the house. I love this one with that knurling. That one was a fantastic, fantastic ratchet. There's a mile number, 3753N. I highly recommend that ratchet, guys. It's smaller than that. And it's smaller than the snap on it that's going this week. So it's pretty small. It's not as small as the Tone. Tone is a little smaller. Or that uh, that Tecton uh, 3 h drive and a quarter inch the quarter inch body. It's not smaller than any of them, but those are those are really small. But it's probably smaller uh, profile than 80% of the ratchets out there in 3 h drive. They also make this in quarter and half inch drive too. I'll leave the link in the description below for all three sizes if you're interested. And uh, but it's a sealed head, so that that's the one thing I did not like about it. The finish is growing on me. The handle's growing on me. Let's put it let's put it on a, a socket here. Quick release works very very good. You can see it's very very and there's not a lot of pliant anvil pushing in. It's very smooth. The pin comes way out. See the pin comes way 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 out. Hey guys, if you have subscribed already, I really appreciate it. Channel's doing good. It's all because of you guys. And I always plan on giving back. 72 tooth to me is a sweet spot. Very little back drag. This thing was good out of the box as far as that goes. It's one of the better ratchets for back drag. It's not as good as a Koken, but it's not too far off, guys. Click. Look, look at Watch. Click. 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 This, wet, this ratchet's very well made. 72 tooth. Not a bad ratchet. Not a bad ratchet at all. At first, I didn't like the handle, but it kind of grew. It's like, it's like that uh, with those Tecton uh, wrenches with the satin chrome. It grows on you, and there's a reason why it's shaped like that. It just, it just it fits the hand good there. And the powder coat finish is very, very durable. It hides scratches and uh, abrasions very well. I bet you can hardly see any. A little bit there, you might see it. Very, very little. It hides, and, it, and it, the grime seems to wipe off pretty, very well. So it, 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 it hides scratches and abrasions very well. Like I said, you can hardly see it. A little bit there on the end there. The heads always get banged up, right? But being a sealed head, that was probably one of the only negative things I didn't like. A couple of nicks there, but you know, you're going to hit the head on some stuff. Anvil, the anvil is pretty, pretty tight. Like, this is not a bad ratchet. Like, it, like I said, when I first bought it, I said, boy, that's funky looking. I'm never going to use that. You know, the handle. It's, it doesn't feel bad in my hands after I've been using it for a while, you know. I've had it for almost a year. And it's very, very low profile head. And a 72 tooth with very little back drag, which there's not a lot uh, not to like, you know. Other than, other than the head not being serviceable. Other than that, that's not a bad ratchet, guys. Uh, who could use this? I would. I dare not say right across the board. All the way from weekend warrior, all the way professional. I don't see why it couldn't be anybody's toolbox. Those Germans know how to make tools, guys. It grows on you, and, and I, don't, I don't know if any of ratchets got that uh, powder coat finish like that. So it's different. It's different in a lot of ways. It's heavy though. It's a heavy ratchet. That was one thing too. 
that may surprise you. It's a heavy ratchet. I can only imagine what the half-inch drive one weighs. And like I said, this is about 11 inches long. All right, guys, that's it for this review. And uh, well, stay tuned because in a, it's going to be in a few days now. we got a comment and a video I select, and it's, uh, it's knocking at the door to video. So stay tuned, and uh, that's going to be an exciting giveaway. All right, guys, uh, have a great day, and uh, stay safe.